Can you get all the three values of y here? Yes, it's easy. Let's do this together. Welcome to my channel. The first thing we need to do is to do what? Let's open this bracket. Now, 3 to the power of 3 is going to give us 27. So we have 27 here. And y to the power of 3 will give us y to the power of 3 is equal to 216. Now, let's divide through by 27. Okay? So divided by 27, divided by 27. Now, this is going to divide this. We have y to the power of 3. And when this divides this, we have 8. Okay? All right. Now, we can write y to the power of 3 is... Okay, let's bring this in. Minus 8 is equal to 0. We can write y to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, let's recall. Let's recall that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, according to our algebra, okay, is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared, okay? Now, in this case, our a is equal to y. Y our b is equal to 2. So, we are going to substitute that in this equation. So, we can express this as what? a minus b, that is y minus 2, okay, multiplied by a squared, that is y squared, plus ab, that is 2 times y, which is 2y, plus b squared, that is 2 squared, okay, and this is equal to 0. All right, we can solve this as what? y minus 2 bracket y squared plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now let's continue. We have that. From here, we can say that y minus 2 is equal to 0 and y squared plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. So from this side, we can say that y is equal to 2, right? Now, from here, we can use our quadratic equation to solve this. And the quadratic equation formula states that um, our, our, our y should be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay? All right. Now, a. A is equal to the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of y, which is 2. Yc is our constant, which is 4. So if we substitute these values into here, we are going to have that y is equal to minus b, that is minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 2 squared, minus 4ac, that is 4, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 4, everything divided by what? 2 multiplied by 1, okay? Then we can say that y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16, okay, divided by 2. All right. Now, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, then on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. All right. So we have now that y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16. We give us minus 12, right? So we have minus 12. All right. Divided by what? 2. Okay, so we have y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of... Now, minus 12 can be expressed as 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1, right? Okay, divided by 2. Now, y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1 everything divided by 2. Now, y is minus 2 plus or minus. Now, square root of 4 will give us 2. Then we have root 3. Then square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. Now, that means that... Permit me to clean this side of the board. 
all right that means that our y is equal to minus 2 divided by 2 right plus or minus 2 root 3i divided by 2 as well now 2 we divide this to give us y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus this we divide this to give us square root of 3i okay all right therefore we have the second and the third value because the first value we got the first value as 2 right now the second value is that y is equal to minus 1 plus root 3i why the third value is equal to minus 1 minus root 3i. Now, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.